Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 13 of Let's Play Beyond the Steel Sky. So, in the previous episode, for those who are following as I release these videos, was three months ago. Um, yes, I do apologise about that. I was trying to play two Let's Plays at the same time, this and The Hand of Glory. And The Hand of Glory kind of released their second half of the game, so I kind of got waylaid. And then Christmas, and then life, and anyway those of you who aren't watching it as it comes out, that's what happened. So I have to just re-watch the previous episode because I couldn't remember a thing about it, but I have to use this U-chip hand, I presume it's a hand clamp, to get the U-chip out, out of my hand. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? I hope I remember the controls. Face hand, there we go. Why is it so tight? Oh dear. Just stop you getting away, you idiot! What's the cleaver for? What do you think? One more you chip for my trade, and two more thumbs for my collection. Whoa. Hold still while I focus on your weak digits. I had to think fast. You've got another hand. There had to be something within reach that I could use. Use. Uh, use a. Have to Don't be. Grab it. Nice I one. Smash the bottle over the guy's head. Nobody's ever got the best of Jimmy the Thumbs until now. So, was that not Leet? So, you aren't Leet then? I never said I was. Oh, yes, you did. You maniac. Everyone's got to have a hobby. What's wrong with stamp collecting? They call me Jimmy the Thumbs, pal. Not Jimmy the Philatelist. Thumbs? That's what you're after? And the U-chips, but mostly the thumbs. What do you even do with them? Just collect them. I like the approval they give me. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're crazy. Now tell me where to find Leet. The real Leet. He's hiding out. In a place too hot for the likes of you. Folks call it the... <coughs> Hellfire Club. Save your riddles, Jimmy. <laughs> and with that, Jimmy passed out. Looked like I have to find the real lead on my own. Come on then, let's go see what we can find. Oh, can we rummage in the uh, in the desk now? Let's get this unicorn. Is it a paper unicorn? There was a strange smell of almonds. Plastic. I realized what the unicorn was made Explosive. out of. Plastic explosive. Excellent. Never have it all plastic. It's plastic explosive. And oh come on, I can't take it the was fish. A rubber fish. I want the I tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna replay this and use the rubber fish around his face. Do you think that'll work? Take the cleaver, take the cleaver, don't be stupid, take the cleaver. Oh come on man. You can tell it's been quite a few months since I played this. <laughs> take. There you go. <laughs> I must stress it's not for lack of um Lack of a, of, a, of a good game because it's. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. It's purely down to. I wasn't going to get anything more out of Jimmy for yeah, a okay. while. Okay, it's purely down to um, just life. Life, as um, Ian Malcolm once says, life finds a way. Right, let's go go and find Leet. Oh, a crowbar. Take it. We did do a lot of investigating around these areas, didn't we? Especially when we go out the door. And, and go up around to the top of the top of the buildings. I don't need to hide now. All right, turn the screen around. Anything around here? Oh, can I have a look at this guy? How's your head? Just <laughs> <but> a scratch. <laughs> <laughs> this is your fault. I'll do you for that. You're trapped in an industrial crusher. I'm invincible! No, you're defective. I had to admire the droid's spirit, but it was defeated. <laughs> For any Monty, Monty Python fans, that was brilliant. Love it. Tis but a scratch. If you haven't seen that sketch, Google it. After, you, you, after you've watched it, of course. I will not forget Can this. I... Oh god, how to bring up my inventory? I? Is it I? It is I. I was just thinking maybe use the crowbar. Can I? Oh, that's not how I do it. 
Oh dear, Michael. You call yourself a quantum quick adventurer. Examine. Right, I can only examine it. I don't want to examine it. Turn around then. I've had worse. Come on, Graham Grundy. Yes, Google, uh, tis but to scratch. I have to watch this video. So I think I'm going to go out again and see if anything's changed. More junk. I don't need to look at the junk. Stop me from doing what I need to do. Nothing that way, is there? No. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Saving. Ooh. There's a load of save spots on this as well, I must say. So you can replay many different times over. Because once I've finished... Once I finish this, I am going to go back and hit the guy with the fish. So where do you think Leet is? Where haven't we been? Um, hmm. I'm going to go up here just to see if anything has changed. Ladder. Ladder. Come on, Graham Grundy. Ladder. Use. Right, where could... Oh, I'd been up here. And... Oh, may maybe. What have I got in my inventory? The sign. The sign. Tether. Inventory. Maybe there's something that we picked up. Oh, the cleaver. Let's use the cleaver with the, with the tether. Where is it? Plastic supposed to cleaver. Come on. Yes. Flipping neck. Awesome. Now is this gonna fall down? Oh, it's already it's already gone. I thought the whole letters were gonna fall down. An anchor is good enough for me. Wasn't the um wasn't the insurance place beneath the steel sky called anchor insurance? It was. It was because there was an anchor on that on that um, on that statue. And we had to get Joey to un, uh, un unweld. Is that right? Is that a word I'm looking for? I'm going to stick with it. Unweld. So what do we Pipe have? Pipe had been cracked by the falling anchor. Gas was leaking out. Does that mean that it's not going to be as hot inside? So I'm going to be able to broken light. Down. The light fitting had been ripped from the wall, and the bulb smashed. Do we have a light? I mean, what, we really need a light. I'm not going to use mini K. Plastic explosive. I don't really want to blow up light. Oh, apparently, apparently I can. Bad idea. The C4 just blew up. Shoot! I'm dead. <laughs> Yowza. The pipe had been cracked by the falling anchor. Gas that was, was cool. Out. That was pretty cool. The sign was no longer a hazard, but the gas sure was. So I'm presuming I have to. Can I use things together? Oh, I pressed it. I pressed I. Sorry, I didn't mean to press I. I pressed I because I've been playing um, Encodia, where you press I and the inventory comes up. So, I presume if the gas is coming out, then it's going to be not as hot inside. Let's go, let's, let's, let's go and find that out. Oh, I can't. That's, that's the end. Don't go that way. Go this way, Graham. So, if you are watching this, then, um, then thank you for sticking, sticking with me over that past three months. And if you're watching it way after, thanks for watching anyway, I guess. Leave a like to help me, um... The box was corroded and wouldn't open. If you could leave a like, it'd help spread this video far and wide. I keep pressing I. Michael, what are you doing, you buffoon? Right. Inventory. Let's see if we have anything else that we can... Can we use a plastic explosive on this? I mean, we probably can, but it kind of seems like a waste just to open... Oh, crowbar. That makes more sense. Yes. Easy. Light switch. Switch off. 
Ah! Oh, now I put the plastic explosive in there. <laughs> oh, I hope I got a steam achievement for that. You know what? Steam achievement. Get it? Pun not initially intended, but now I've said it. I absolutely intend it. There's nothing better in this world than a pun. Where is it? Plastic explosive use. Hopefully it won't blow up this time. Oh, thank you very much. Now run away. It doesn't really seem that far away for me to turn it on. I feel like I'm still going to get exploded. Hmm. Let's do it. <laughs> I feel the same. Fabulous. I can no longer go past it, but not that I need to. Let's go inside this monumental catastrophe of a industrial building. I mean, I don't know where I'm going with this sentence, to be honest. I started it, and then I regretted it almost immediately. Oh, dear me. What is going on with me today? I think I'm excited to play it again. I've been meaning to get back to this for a couple of days. But, um, yeah, like I said, I played Encodia got that review out and oh I'm gonna stop here and look at me um, some news which I forgot to say at the beginning I have a new website an actual website yakwaxlips.com um, go there and you can see um, those are those are cool things there we go we can carry on now that's a plug yeah it has um, it has reviews it has all my YouTube reviews on there but all written down as a blog so if you don't want to watch them, Dreams you can read died them. Down, but the smell of burning waste still filled the air nice and it also has... what else does it have on it? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, merchandise. Just some nice cool point and click t-shirts and mugs and stuff. Go there. Buy something. Help me feed myself. And, uh, yeah. I don't think I really need to do that. What? Oh, I can go through a door! Behind the furnace, I could now see a ladder leading up to a room. Should we go that way or should we go this way? I kind of feel like I want to go this way, just to investigate. Oh, there's not a lot there. Oh, there's something on the floor there, though. No, I can't pick that up. That's a dead end. Let's go up the ladder in the furnace, then. Furnace, furnace burner. In my the furnace was now off. I kind of don't really want to use anything on the inventory, from the inventory. Can I throw a sausage down there? I'm going to, obviously, if I can. Oh, I can't! The one thing I want to use a sausage on, and I can't. Bloody adventure games with a logic. I'm having a hoot today. It's like I've been trapped in a closet, and now I'm finally escaped. And I'm just taking it out on all you lot. Lita's got to be around here somewhere. Hello. <laughs> Leet. Leet. Leet's not that kid at the start, was he? <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, kid. Are you all right? Leet. I guess. Leet? Leet! Yeah, yeah. Hold your bill, be poppy. Grown ups are talking. Now, you. Why are you pretending to be Graham Grundy? How do you know that? My system flags every U chip that walks through that door. And you are not Graham. Correct. Is he dead? Yes. Did you kill him? No. I just borrowed his ID. Mm. I see. Okie dokie then. 
Start talking. Let's go for it. How do I know you're really Leet? Said I was, didn't I? The last guy I met told me he was Leet, and that didn't end well. Ah, that'd be Jimmy. <laughs> he tried to cut off my thumbs. Sounds like Jimmy. Deep down, he means well. <laughs> Sounds like Jimmy. He loves his thumbs. He does that, Jimmy. <laughs> Shreveman port. Why all this attention on my Shreveman port? Because, man, it's a Shreveman port. Do you have any idea how rare that is? Still regret having mine out. See? Yeah. Who's the girl? Her name's Poppy. She's a Gaplander. Graham brought her here. Told me he'd found her wandering around somewhere. Like kidnapping? Jeez! Who said anything about kidnapping? No. He was trying to help her. He thought she might be connected. Connected to what? Everything. Or maybe nothing. Well, that narrows it down. Listen, pal. Graham had a loop, and he kept me out of it. I just want to know about the missing children. I'm looking for a boy called Milo. He was kidnapped two nights ago. I tracked him here, to Union City. Hey, Poppy! You know a boy called Milo? <laughs> Bilby! Not Bilby! Milo! Ah, forget it. Uh, I guess he doesn't know anything. Okay, so what's your connection to Graham Grundy? Graham? Oh, he was just an acquaintance. How do you know about me and him anyway? Graham's wife mentioned you by name. She what? And I suppose she told you where to find me? No, that bit was easy. I just used the tracker. Whoa! A tracker? Yes, a toy tracker. In that bilby. Bilby! Songbird's bilby had somehow ended up in the young girl's hands. Oh, Graham! You amateur! <laughs> Sounds like he was more than just an acquaintance. All right. I did know him. I'm the genius who put the mask demon and the data blocker on his ID. I took in the girl when he brought her to me when I knew I shouldn't have. Bilby Toy Tracker. Stupid, stupid, soft-hearted, stupid Graham. It's all getting very complicated. You said you put a data blocker on Graham's ID. Yes, but a fat lot of good it does when you tell everybody about me. Hey, Graham? Why did Graham want his own data blocked? Hell if I know. I run a tech service, not a chat show. He wanted two things from me. First was something to hide his own data from. Prying eyes. And the second thing? A way out of the city. Just for a day. Being an absolute bleeding genius, I manage both. Hence the mask demon. Okay, so if I want to find out what's going on here, I need to get rid of Graham's data blocker, yes? Yes. Can you remove it? Oh, yes. But no. Graham's little disappearing act has totally messed with my mojo. Whole new level of security has been added to the Minos Gateway. I can't get in without my mask demon triggering every damn security protocol ever invented. Can't get rid of my mask demon without getting in. Basically, I'm saying Minos is out and it's a link space thing. You wouldn't understand. Link? I totally know what link space is. You remember Link Space? Yes, finally. I was beginning to think I was the only one in this city with a brain. That said, you may be the only one in the city with a Shreveman port. Which means, oh ho ho, today might turn out to be a good day after all. Let me show you something. Follow me. Do you think we have to go into link is that space. a link chair? <gasps> it we absolutely do. is. And I suppose you want me to sit in it. You've got a problem with your ID. I've got a problem with mine. The solution to both our problems lies in Minos. But thanks to Graham's selfish inability to not die, 
I can't access the system. So how do we get in? Via Link Space. There's a back door into Minos. Now, I'm the only man in this city with a functioning Link Space chair. And today, the only man in the world with a functioning Shreedman port walks through my back door. I need you to do this. You need you to do this. Poppy needs you to do this. The universe needs you <laughs> to do this. The data blocker on Graham's account was stopping me finding out more about him. It sounded like Leet really could help me get rid of it. I needed to do what he said. So we've got to get in the chair and enter Link Space. Oh man, that was crazy, Link Space was. Hands up if you've played Beneath the Steel Sky. Or leave a comment below. Let me know. <laughs> Either way, it seems like I can't see your hands right now. Oh, there's a hand clamp. I don't, I'm not bothered about examining it. Um, Leet's terminal. Examine that. Leet's super terminal was quite a piece of reclaimed tech. Where's the girl? Let's talk to the girl. You talk to her? Talk. Poppy? Bilby! Um, Bilby. Where do you What's get that you got there? Bilby! <laughs> Can I hold your Bilby? No! Good luck with that one, mate. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> I had the distinct feeling that I wasn't going to get many answers out of Poppy. Yeah, I'm not really that f In fact, let's, let's just... Were you kidnapped from the Gap? Yeah, let's just go this, <laughs> down this route. I had the distinct feeling... Yeah, okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, Poppy. <laughs> <sighs> I think we're just going to have to go... into... Do, do I have... Hold on. Do I have Joey's thing? No, I don't. I thought I could use the... I thought I could use Joey with that robot, but probably not. Whiteboard. Look at the whiteboard. I could see a few errors in Leet's calculations, but I doubted he'd appreciate me telling him. Let's jump into Link Space, shall we? Oh my word. What was it? 26 years? Let's head on in. I've got tingles. So you need me to reach Minos through Link Space? Correct. Ready to strap in? Yes. Just yes. Yeah, why not? What's the worst <laughs> that could happen? Yeah, sure. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, buddy. You'd be surprised. I would have been blown up already uh, in this episode. Link? So. Relax. You've done this before, right? A long time ago. Hey, it's like riding a bike. First thing you gotta do. Make your way through Link Space to the Minos portal. Is it easy to find? Maybe, maybe not. But Link Space should be completely empty these days. Minos portal? Then what? Find your way to the ID data center. Bring up the accounts of Graham Grundy and Elliot Richardson. Whoa, who's Elliot Richardson? Duh. Elliot. Leet. Gotcha. What's next? Eliminate the mask demons and the data blockers on both our accounts. Piece of pie. Easy as cake. Got it? Oh my word, that's a lot to do. But yeah, sure, let's go. Get to Minos, then clear your software from our accounts. It's really that simple? Uh-huh. You'll figure it out. You seem like a bright spark. Now, let's fire this baby up. Can't wait to see if she still works, hey? Whoa, still works? What are you... <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Pretty sure he just says he's got the only working one in the city. I do quite like this lead guy, though. Okay, hold on to your brain. How am I supposed to... I meant figuratively. Wow. This extra loading page is cool. <gasps> it's even got the music! <laughs> this is awesome! And you know what? We're going to have to delve straight into this in the next episode. I can't start this now because I will be going on for a long time. Wow. 
If you've enjoyed this episode, please smash that like, as uh, YouTubers tend to say these days. I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe if you are new here. And uh, until next time, I will not leave it three months. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. Take care.